Okay, so I've recorded all my piano now, uh, two different velocity layers. These are the P layers, piano. And I've also done MP layers, mezzo piano. And we're now opening a uh, strip silence, control X in Logic will allow you to do this. And playing about with the threshold level, so looking where the silence allows a cut to be made. And we're going to play about probably around minus 30 will be a good point. I always find this a little bit difficult, this strip silence, but it does. It is a quick, handy way to chop up the samples. Uh, using the minimum time to accept silence as well is really good, so we can kind of lengthen these as best possible. But we're going to have to have a look at these in a minute and maybe look at the start and end times as well. So I've done that on the harder sounding samples and now doing it on the softer sounding samples same again uh, also these piano samples have already been um, noise reduced so I've noise reduced these already so they were recorded in mono but obviously now they are in stereo preparing everything for use in the sampler Yeah, so you can hear, and let's just check the start points of these. So Strip Science has done a good job here. And I always find Strip Science does do a good job at the start points, but not so much the ends. Yep, they're all right. Let's zip through the rest of these so you don't have to go through the whole pain of me doing all the samples together. During this video, I will zip through some elements of it. And now we're going to do a bit of note naming. So as per our instructions on recording and sampling a piano, I've recorded C0, G0, D1, A1, E2, B2, F sharp 3, C sharp 4, G sharp 4, D sharp 5, A sharp 5 and F6. Fifths basically from the lower end, C0 all the way to the top of the keyboard. And they're all named. I've named the softer ones as well. Let's just quickly check these with the tuner. Yep, they're correct. I always find this is really important to just do a, a final final check with a tuner. Okay, ready to export. So we've cut the FN, we've note named, now we're going to export. So select FN. Right click, export audio files, individual audio files. So we're looking at the, the default settings are pretty good here. Export them at 24 bit. We are going to use these common denominators, either the pattern. So we're going to name, we're going to keep the region name and custom. Um, we don't need any other elements added to this. We're going to find a folder now as well to export these. I've made one up here called no export exports. 
and let's export. And now we will be ready to add into our sampler of choice. And here are the export samples in the folder. Quick check, obviously. All with the correct note names. OK, here we are in Logic Pro's sampler. So first off, hit the mapping area tab at the top. We're going to select first of all, all of the louder recordings, note recordings, drag those into our mapping area. If you pull down, you can assign to single notes, imported, and now we're going to go to zone, and we're going to auto map these with their note names. So the audio file note names are assigned. Really good way to do it, They're hence why we name them. We can see at the bottom we've got multiple selection, everything is selected, all the tuning is at zero, pitch is left on because we've kind of moved between, they've automatically mapped between the spaces. We've got a velocity of zero to 127 at the minute, so full velocity. Let's check and play these back. Check our tuning again. Make sure that the keys that I'm hitting are the right ones. Yep. All good. Now you can hear here as I'm releasing the notes, they're cutting off quite quick. We're going to solve that in a moment. That's the envelope of the sounds. But first of all, we're going to sort the velocities out. So this is the first velocity layer. So I'm going to take these, their velocity to start from 63 to 127. And the next layer I'm going to bring in, the next layer of samples in a minute, the um, mezzo pianos, we will bring in and we'll, we'll set a, 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 a velocity setting from 0 to 62. I'm going to name this group Piano Peas. And now we're going to set a new group up for the mezzos. Name this group Piano M. Oh, let's do a capital, capital N. Let's select those notes. Drag those in, drag them down again so they hit single notes. You can see if I had to go too far, they stack on top of each other. They're imported. Same again, we're going to go to the zone, auto map, again by audio file names. Again, they filled the gaps. And this group, I'm going to change the velocity, as I mentioned a moment ago, from 62, from zero, sorry, to 62 as a level. So we've got two groups there now added. Now with all of this, if we click on the zone tab to the far right there, we are able to um, change and manipulate any one of these single notes. Uh, one of the most important things we can do is we, can, we could reverse or, or do these as one shots. One shots meaning that if you hit the note and release the key, it would carry on playing. Right, it will sound out for the length of the actual sample itself. And we don't want to have any loops on at a minute. Obviously, if you're making other type of sampler instruments with synthesizers, you may want to sort some loop points out because you may want the actual note to actually play continually until uh, until you release. And you've got all of those options here in this area under the zone feature. I thought you'd show, I'd show you that, but we don't need it for the purpose of this building of this piano, simple piano instrument in Logic's sampler. Now, here, here you can see I'm playing the different velocities, hitting the keys. And they're a 
of course, hitting. And they're, of course, playing different velocity layers. Okay, great. Now they're still stopping quite soon. So we're going to open up the, the release on the amp envelope. So they become a little bit more natural. As if we are playing a real piano. Much better. It sounded much more natural now. go. Yeah, and the playback of the different velocity levels sounds really good as well. Let's extend that a little bit more. And all that's left to do is to save the patch. And this will default to the sampler instruments area. Obviously, name this. Now, if you were exporting uh, to uh, a folder for, for, for example, uploading to, well, our sampled site, for example, um, you would save the audio data along with the patch, which is at the bottom left-hand corner. And for this reason, I'm just saving it to my own system. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Over and done with. Thank <laughs> you.